students welcome once again to my channel uh, before going forward i would like to request e to each one of you to please subscribe my channel if you haven't and if you like this video please press the like button and do not forget to press that bell icon uh because whenever i'll post a video you'll get notified and yes one more important thing that please watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out any important thing so in this video we'll be talking about irony so you all must have watched my video on the retrieve reformation that is the english explanation as well as the hindi explanation if you haven't watched it i'll provide the links in the description so you can go and watch it and then you'll understand actually what kind of ironies are used so before going into the um, irony that the lesson has used first we'll understand what are three different types of ironies the three different types of ironies are dramatic irony situational irony and verbal irony uh, in this lesson the retrieve reformation the irony used is the situational irony so i'll not be going in very much detail about each irony will be just understanding how the lesson is been uh, you know ironies are been used in this lesson that is the retrieve reformation so i'll just explain you in one one line each of these ironies okay so dramatic irony is that type of irony where uh, the writer and the viewer or the reader knows what is going to happen but the characters in the book or in the play don't know what is going to happen so for example if i give that the example that i would like to give you is the romeo and juliet example that uh, the uh viewers and viewers knew or the readers knew that juliet is acting dead but was actually not dead but romeo did not know this so this irony is a type of irony where the characters don't know what is going to happen next but the viewers or the readers who watch it or who read it they know what exactly is going to happen okay so next type of irony is verbal irony so verbal irony is basically uh you know confused for sarcasm okay so many people say verbal irony is sarcasm sarcasm and many people uh, you know object on that but that's not a big deal because verbal irony is kind of sarcasm so i mean something else and i say something else like uh like for example if i have a very a uh, skinny uh, classmate of mine so i'll just say that oh my god look you're so healthy so it's like a sarcasm like i'm taunting her so this is called as verbal irony where i mean something else but i say some other thing okay now we come to the very important irony that is the situational irony that is used in your lesson that is the re retrieved reformation okay so in this irony we are going to see situational irony is an irony where you expect something and a totally opposite happens at the end so for example uh in this lesson we saw that jimmy the warden tells jimmy to live straight it means warden tells jimmy not to uh, you know not to have those break or the uh, safe and all that not to do all these things but to live straight but in the end what happens jimmy saves a girl so you expect that jimmy is a very uh, this kind of a man a con man kind of a person but at the end he saves a girl so this is you were expecting something else out of the story but at the end you get a totally opposite thing okay so i'll just read out the definition that is given in the communicate with cambridge book of the irony they have not mentioned what kind of irony they have used but i'm telling you guys uh, situational irony has been used in this lesson the short story the retrieve reformation so the uh, 
definition that they have given is irony is a contrast between what is expected contrast means totally opposite and what actually happens there are several instances of irony in the story so instances means examples okay so next example of irony is he at the elmore bank jimmy looked into annabel's eyes and forgot who he was so this is the the irony here is that we know that jimmy was a safe cracker and he used to crack safe and rob all the money from that but you were you would be expecting while reading that okay this man will be caught caught and he'll be put into the jail for the rest of his life but what an expect unexpectedly happens is that he looks at Uh, he looks into annabel's eyes and he forgets that he is a robber or he is that he is a safe cracker so he becomes a totally different person so we expect something but we get something else at the end of the story okay another example is jimmy was given a railroad ticket and a 5 dollar bill and told to be a good citizen so over here the irony is that he was given and he was told he was given all these things and he was told to live like a good citizen but in the end what happens something opposite happens that he becomes a totally different person a totally different person in the sense that he saves a girl okay from dying inside the safe that had been you know locked up inside the safe so this is the irony so we expect something from the uh, book or from the story but we get s- totally different what was expected of it okay so this is irony okay so uh, here students we uh, will end the video i hope you all have understood what is irony and what type of irony is being used in this lesson if you want to me to give you a detailed explanation of dramatic irony and verbal irony so you may uh, comment down in the comment section i'll bring a uh, many such things for you all and if you all want any other things from my side uh, to make a video on any other topic or any other thing you can suggest you are free to suggest me in the comment section okay and till then take care students take care everyone and stay safe and stay at home okay so we'll meet in the next video and do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel bye